Hello, my name is Ali Levac and I'm going to be showing you how to clean your whistles today and that is not a euphemism. What you'll need to start off is some sheets of blank paper, cotton buds, earbud cleaners, plumber's tape, you get that in a DIY shop, a pint glass, a scalpel or a sharp knife and a lot of kitchen roll. Let's go. So I should firstly note that there is no correct or wrong way to clean your whistles. This is just the way I clean my whistles, but I do have the cleanest whistles. So yes, I play primarily play Colin Goldie whistles as well. Um, that's a question I get asked quite a lot. And this is how I like to clean my Colin Goldie whistles. So to start off, just if you play a tunable Goldie whistle, just break it in half like that. Not break it, just pull the two parts, which are meant to come apart, apart. And then with your scalpel or your sharp knife, carefully strip away the plumber's tape um, from the tuning slide. You may have some residue of plumber's tape caught on the inside of the bottom half of your whistle. Um, just do the same in scraping that away, but be careful of the inside metal um, so it's not to mark it too much and yeah just carefully like this strip away at the plumber's tape like that so you've gone all the way to the bottom and then you can peel it away like that make sure there's nothing left get your little bin bowl for plumber's tape Make sure it's nice and smooth. Same for the inside of the bottom half. Make sure it's all, you've gotten as much of the plumber's tape as you can away. Use your finger if you need to. And that's phase one complete. Phase two, you're going to take your pint glass and boiling water and pour the boiling water into the pint glass. Do not hold the pint glass whilst you do this or you will burn your fingers. So you're going to put the pint glass down on the table. I put the pint glass in front of me there. You're going to fill the pint glass with boiling water. Three quarters full. Again, don't hold the pint glass with the boiling water or you will burn yourself. Next slate. I'm just going to do it for this video, but don't try this at home. Uh, put the just the top half of your whistle um, head first into the boiling water. Give it a wee spin. You might even notice some debris of gunk come out. Do the same with the bottom half of your whistle. And just let it sit for five minutes. Again, don't hold the pint glass like this, please. I'm doing this for you. Um, yes, leave that for five minutes. After five minutes, um, and now I've swapped the whistle head so that it's not in head first now, uh, but I did so with a folded piece of kitchen roll because the, the whistle is hot to touch now. So carefully, you can keep swapping it back and forth. Again, the whistle is hot to touch, so try not to touch with your bare hands. Dip it in and out. Do the same with the bottom half. There you go. Put a wee spin there. Yeah. After a while, um, you're then going to take, depending on the size of the whistle, so I'm cleaning an F sharp whistle just now. Um, you can, I'm using the three squares of kitchen roll all folded together. I'm going to take the head out. Oh, that's hot. Ah. Um, whilst it's still wet, fold the three squares of kitchen roll once, twice, three times. Do, give it a wee twist and then roll it up. Be careful with your fingers because it's hot. Roll it up the head like that. Make 
should see it actually coming through the head there. Keep spinning it. You should hear the kitchen all squeaking against the metal. Yeah, I cleaned this one not too long ago. You should hopefully see some black stuff on the head there. Nice. So that's the body of the head cleaned. Now with the bottom half of the whistle, do the same. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your folded piece of kitchen roll, and you're just gonna run it from the bottom of the bottom half of the whistle. Right to, through to the other end until it, you're gonna pull it through the other end. You might need a wooden spoon. In this case, I'm gonna use a chanter to push it as far out. That's as far as I can get it. I'm gonna grab a high D. This is bad practice, it's just all I had handy near me to get it through to the other side. Now if you look through, it's clean as a whistle. Almost there. Um, now the ring, there's a lip on the inside of the bottom. This is dirty, you're gonna clean that. You're gonna take your earbud and you're gonna wet it a wee bit in that pint. You're gonna press your finger against it and like that, you're going to rub along the lip on the bottom half of the whistle. You should see some dirt there. Do the same with the other end. Wet it. Press against it hard on the lip and just twist the whistle around. Yeah. Yeah. That gives it a... The bottom half is immaculate. That's the bottom half done. Now just with the head of the whistle, Another cotton, another earbud. Clean the lip of the head, just like that. And along the top. It's that airway, get it nice and clean. You should see some dirt on these earbuds. Same with the other side. Nice. Only one thing left to do. Lastly, with your paper, I've torn a wee bit there, A4. Um, this is just to clean the passageway here. Um, we're just gonna take that piece of paper, fold it in half. Fold it in half once more. Yes, nice. Making sure that it's not too wide for the for the passageway. I'm gonna give this head another re soak, so I'm just gonna dip it in the water like that, so that the paper catches any bits in that air wave. Now I'm gonna run the paper through like so. Yes. See that? And now pull it back and forth like a like a saw. Double saw. See that? Ah, yes. And that's it. And then just re plumber tape the head. I kind of soak the head, the tuning slide a wee bit before I put plumber's tape on it. Let the first bit catch like that. Ta -da. I'm gonna go down once and then up once. And then snip it. Soak it again, just to make sure it's caught. It's quite loose to do with another bit of flummer's tape, but. Feels a lot cleaner. Keep your whistles clean.